Hello, today I show you how to use pen sketch Photoshop action and here is some of the results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least between 2000 and 4000 pixels on one axis for best effect. Actually, I recommend using a photo with a resolution 2000 pixels and more for portrait photos and 3500 pixels and more for full body photos. So, if you use photo with too small or too big resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size, and change width or height value. Okay, and before you section, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image mod and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step just for CS5 and highest versions, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options and check the add copy to copy layers and groups. Ok, that's all. Now how to use action. First open your image and one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, this view. You just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's ok. The next step, open brushes file, for that go to the edit, presets, preset manager, in preset type select brushes, click load, go to the load folder and just make double click on pen sketch brushes file. Ok, done. The next step, open patterns file, for that go to the edit, presets, preset manager, in preset type select patterns, click load, go to the load folder again and make double click on pen sketch patterns file. Ok, done. And the next step, open action file, for that go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the load folder last time and make double click on pen sketch photoshop action. Ok, the next step create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use some of lesser tools, you can use quick selection tool, magic wand tool or you can use brush tool. For that image I gonna use uh, quick selection tool and you can use any cards. Ok, when you painted the area, just open Actions panel, for that go to the window, Actions, find Action on the Action list, open it and click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100%. Ok, click play. Wait a few minutes, that Photoshop make all actions and speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. I'm little scroll at this step. Ok, when action finishes work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. In final composition we have 5 folders. 
its background elements, your object elements, quick color change, then color effects, and color and contour settings of all image. Okay, let's start from background elements. In this folder, you can change the color of background. You can make the background color more dark or light, but I recommend using a white color. And also this folder contains three folders with uh, lines, backlines, over shadows, and backlines part two. So if you want to erase some of space of backlines or over shadows, just select the layer mask, select brush tool and black color and just paint where you want to erase these lines. And if you want to make visible, just select white color and paint again. Okay, and this folder contains color and contour settings of background folder. Uh, in this folder you can add color tone to background and you can add gradient to background. But if you want to add color tone or gradient, uh, firstly you need to hide uh, add paint color layer in quick color change folder. You can hide this layer or just change the opacity of this layer. Add color tone and add gradient. Of course you can change the color of gradient. You can move this gradient. You can change the hue and saturation of back elements. And you can change brightness and contrast of back elements. Okay. The next folder it's your object elements folder. This folder contains many folders with uh, layers. It's more hatched part one outlines, more hatched part two main hatched part one, more contrast, pen strokes, main hatched part two, and light to layers. Okay, so if you want to erase some of space of these layers, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, black color, and just paint where you want to erase. And also this folder contains color and contour settings of your object. You can add color tone to your object. You can add gradient to your object. You can change hue and saturation of your object and you can change brightness and contrast of your object. Okay, 
the next folder it's very important and useful folder it's quick color change folder this folder contains add pen color if you hide this layer you take uh, something like a pencil sketch if you make visible this layer you take pen sketch effect this folder contains quick color change of all elements folder it's very easy to use just select the color what you want to change make double click and select the color Okay, and also this folder contains quick paint color change folder. It's very useful folder. This folder contains two layers. It's paint object layer and paint back layer. Just select the layer, select brush tool, select the color what you want to add, adjust paint. Okay. And the next folder it's 10 color FX folder. This folder contains 10 color FX. And the last folder it's color and contour settings of all image. This folder contains other elements folder with frame shadow layer and paper texture layer and also in this folder you can add original color to your image you can change the opacity of this layer in this folder you can add photo filter to your image You can add the gradient to all image. Of course, you can change the color of gradient. You can add color tone to all image. You can change the hue and saturation of all image. And you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. So that's all. Here is a result. Now you just save, thanks for watching and good luck.